Hello, welcome back to Idea Statica tutorial. Myself is Jarajan P. This is tutorial number 23. There have been continuous requests to provide short video tutorials on various manufacturing operations available in Idea Statica. This tutorial will provide explanation for one such manufacturing operation identified by CUT. Other manufacturing operations will be taken up in subsequent tutorials. A simple column beam joint is considered. To explain the various parameters, a combination of cut commands is explained to arrive at a different configurations. So let us start Idea Statica tutorial number 23. Please note that the link for the playlist for all previous tutorials is given under the video description. So first of all, a simple column beam joint is made. So I have made four combinations here for demonstration. So one demonstration file is a con one. So as you can see that here the column consists of an HA360, right? And uh, it is an entered member. That is, it has got only one support as shown here. And all the angles are specified here. And uh, the beam, the beam is basically is an IP300 uh, European section. And it is also an entered member having one support. And here, as you can see that this is a sloping member that is taken conveniently for demonstration purpose and this is inclined at 20 degrees with uh, horizontal. So now this is a simple column beam combination. Now how do we apply the manufacturing operation cut so that we arrive at the required configuration. For example, for this file, this is your simple column beam joint. Now I want to arrive at one final configuration which is achieved through the cut command. So I'm just making this on. So with this simple column beam members, I want to arrive at a joint which looks something like this. So how to arrive at this joint? This is what is being demonstrated. So let me take you to the various cut commands here. So as you know that the manufacturing operation that we are discussing about here is this particular cut command. Okay, so you can say that so what must be the sequence that we are applying here is for example first let me explain you the cut command so I, I applied actually two cut commands cut 2 and cut 3 here so in cut 2 what is done is that the member so here this member is nothing but the member on which the cut is applied so please remember that if you want to apply any manufacturing operation efficiently you need to have a better understanding of the various parameters so here I want to apply my cut command on the column C. This is my column C and it is to be cut by okay, the beam B, right? And now the cutting method is very important. Now as you can see that there are many cutting methods available here like the bounding box, surface and the mitre cut. And the surface is a very special case. Normally we apply the bounding box and the mitre cut and which will be demonstrated here as well. And now here is a very important thing and the cutting plane is farther. We know that this is cut by the beam B, right? So means that it's a cutting plane is the farther edge. So means that this will be the edge of the cutting plane. That is the farther edge. And the direction parallel means, this means that the cut will be made parallel to the edge of the beam B, right? So if you apply this cut, how does it look like? Yes. So you can see that, okay, this column is being cut by the beam member B and it is cut by the upper edge which is we designate as a farther edge and you can see that the cut that is made on this column member it is a parallel to the edge of this cutting member right so now let us go for the next because this is not our final configuration now let me explain you the other cut command which I have applied on cut 2 additional cut command so here what is done is that the member to be cut is chosen as B so I want to cut the B member B all right and this will be cut using the column C okay and this beam will be cut using a closer edge that means I'll be using this edge to cut the beam B and the direction of the cut will be parallel to the edge okay and on this what I have done is that on the final shape I have applied the welded sizes also for example the flanges is being butt welded and the webs being you know fillet welded on both sides so if you keep it on cut free also you get a final shape of this one so this is that is we finally obtained a shape wherein 
we have taken the column up to the top edge of the beam all right and you can see that for a demonstration purpose here there's a beam that is welded directly with the flange of the column so this is demonstration one now let me take you to the other demonstration so how to arrive at a different com configuration of this is a beam joint okay so what i will do is that let me just go to the other file that's a contour yes contour okay this is the second arrangement so as we know that our uh, simple beam column member when it is uh, you know generated it looks something like this now with again with a different kind of you know the cutting operation i want to generate a different configuration of the beam column joint which is done through the contour file right so now let me explain here what is being done so if i go to the first cut pan filtering operation you can see that again the, the beam member is first cut here okay this member is cut and this is cut using the column c okay and this is cut using the farther cutting plane is a farther okay so there are two cutting planes if you see one is a farther and the second one is a closer so here as we know that this is cut by the column c this is cut by the farther edge that means this beam it will be cut by this edge of the column right and the direction and the direction of this cut will be done parallel to the edge of this cutting member that means parallel to this column flange so when you apply this cut to command how does it look like yes so you can see that obviously yes beam b it is a cut by the farther edge of the column c and you can see that the cut is made parallel to the edge right now this is not my the final shape which i want i want something else so in order to achieve what i did is that on this okay transformed joint i have applied one more cut so let me take you to what i did on this cut shape so here as you can see that now i have cut the member c okay c is cut the column c is cut and it is cut by the beam b right and as you can see that here it is the beam b is cut by a closer by a closer edge that means this column it will be cut by this edge of the beam which i call as a closer closer cutting plane right and the direction of the cut and you know that the direction of the cut will be made parallel to this beam flange that is why i have chosen the parallel right so when it is applied you can see that it looks something like this okay so then going to the cut three okay so let me just explain it so this is how the joiners look okay first i applied the the cut to command wherein you will find that the beam b it will be cut by the column c with a farther edge with the cutting plane being kept parallel right and there is no offset so on applying this operation you have this this is how the joint has changed now i am going to apply one more manufacturing operation that is a cut three so you will find that how are we going to apply this manufacturing operation i want to cut my column c with the beam b right i am going to use so i am going to cut by b so i am going to use a closer cutting plane so this will be my cutting plane that's a closer edge and it will be cut parallel right so let us apply cut three yes so you can say that yes so the out member column c it is a cut by b yes and the cutting plane was or closer edge that's a cutting plane closer and the cutting is made parallel to the edge and then we have introduced some more fillet welded fillet welded on both sides you can see that this is how does it look like so in this case what we did is that we have stopped the column just below the beam flange the bottom beam flange and then the connection is being just welded just for the demonstration purpose now let me uh, demonstrate one more one one configuration okay of the same beam column joint for which i will open another configuration file that's a con3 so so i just want to show you first of all yes so this is my beam column joint let me just take it a little bit in yes so without before applying the cut command my beam column joint looks like this now let me explain what's the operation that i am going to apply through the cut to command so here you can see that yes here i want to make a cut on beam b right and this beam b will be cut by my column and what i will use is that i will use a cutting plane 
that is a closer edge this will be my cutting plane and the direction of the cut will be parallel to the edge okay and there is no offset so let me let's just tell you yes when you apply yes this is how does it look like okay so you can say that yes the beam b it is a cut by c okay and that we have used the cutting plane as a closer one and the cutting will be kept parallel to the column edge yes parallel to the column edge fine now this is not my final shape so what i did is i applied one more command that is my cut three so here what i did is the member c the column member has to be cut here okay the column member has to be cut here that is it has to be cut by the beam b right and as you can see that i have kept the cutting plane farther that means the column has to be cut by the farther means by this edge of the beam by this farther edge of the beam right and the direction of the cut here look here it is perpendicular perpendicular means i want to keep right it is this member has to be cut this member c has to be cut so the direction of the cut i have cut it perpendicular to the axis of column c that means my cut should be horizontal right that is why i have used the perpendicular option here so if i put cut 3 yes so we have obtained another configuration so i applied some i have just manipulated the cut 2 and cut 3 a little bit so that here what i did is that i have stopped my column okay i have terminated horizontally okay matching with the column top flange and then you know that the uh, the rafter beam it starts from the face of the column and here as you can see that what i did is that i applied also an offset of 100 mm because suppose that i did not apply the offset how does it look like i will tell you suppose it is zero so how does it look like yes so but the problem is that i don't want to stop the column so i have calculated what should be this distance it happens to be 110 that's the offset offset you can get the explanation here that is the shift of the cut from its original position so once having done that we have this so so far i have taken you to the three combinations which is generated with the same column beam but with a different a slightly varying combination of the cut commands now the last one i want to just take it to you uh, because this will uh, tell you about a mitred connection okay you can see that these two members are being cut along their diagonals right so how it is being done it's very simple here you have only one cut command so before applying the cut command as usual the column beam looks looks like this only and here what i did is in the i have applied a cut command i applied a cut command on the column and this cut cutting will be done by the beam b and the cutting method we did not go for the bounding box that was used in all the earlier combinations we have used a mitral cut and this mitral cut enables us to have a diagonal cut which is common to the beam as well as the column right and here in this example okay the two connected parts are being uh, you know uh, what we call as uh, it is butt welded using a forum weld so this is all about uh, the manufacturing operation cut so uh, let me just tell you based on my experience the best way uh, to learn the you know the content of the various parameters because people always are getting confused by you know the various parameters for example if i take to for example the con3 file you will find that there is a cutting method cutting plane direction though you know the uh, brief summary is given here still there is some kind of a confusion in the language so it, the best way to understand the manufacturing operation is you go on applying the different kind of parameters and see what happens to the model given the provider in the graphic window so it's by trial and error you become a master of the manufacturing operations so i think that uh, it's a time we conclude this very short okay uh, video on the cut manufacturing operation okay i will uh, we will see next time with uh, another manufacturing operation so so that uh, this is because uh, to develop any model in idea idea statica a prior basic knowledge of the manufacturing operation is indeed and you must be able to uh, apply the various parameters uh, correctly so that you arrive at the required uh, model okay uh, in the very short time okay so thanks a lot and have a nice day